The new season just dropped and we have some awesome weapons in the game right now. Which got me thinking, what's the best loadout to win? And what's the best weapon in the game right now? Don't worry, I have all the answers and more, so make sure to watch the whole video. And, hold on. What? Guys, YouTube is telling me that 75% of you watching right now are not subscribed. I upload every single day, so don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe with the bell for more daily awesome videos. It's true. Today, I'm going to reveal for you the biggest secret in Chapter 4 Season 2, what the pros don't want you to know, because this is how they're racking up crown wins. Now, it's a couple step journey here, so stick with me. You're going to love the end result, so trust me on this one, all right? Let's go ahead and loot up first. We know that somebody is above me on this hill, but we're going to go ahead and use this kinetic blade to get up there in a second. We know they don't have a kinetic blade, which is going to make them uh, really an easy target for us. So let's go ahead and just do this. And up again. And they should be in here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They hit me pretty hard. I thought they had a different weapon, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, yes, there's a flopper in here. I was going to pop that med kit, but a flopper just takes so much less time, you know? All right, great start. Having a kinetic blade is always fantastic. I mean, it is required to win the game at this point. But there is a couple other things that make it uh, really, really easier to win, too. I'm going to talk to this guy, get the keys. You already know this strat, though. I think I bought one too many keys. Oh. Not too, too many keys. Gonna get a bounty, and we're headed over to this racetrack. Now, it looks like maybe nobody came here. If they didn't, this is perfect, because there is a lot of materials. Somebody's right over there. What are you doing, sir? I'm coming at you. Bang, bang. You were chasing somebody, huh? Oh, what the heck? Another one bites the dust. Ooh, and they had a shield fish. Let me drink this real fast. I think I saw at the corner of my eye somebody coming up the zip line. Oh, yeah, right over there. Let's just... Go at him. Oh, there you go. You're not going to win this. A little risky to be doing that, but it's okay. I knew they probably had heals, and I wanted to use that shield fish because I don't plan on carrying it. All righty. So first step of our plan has gone actually extraordinarily well. We just need to go ahead and uh, check these hollow chests, see what they got. Maybe get an upgrade or two. I will take the SMG, and I will take the heavy sniper. Yoink. Okay, my loadout is looking world class at the moment. I would strongly prefer not to have a maven, but I will use it if I got to, you know? I'm just going to farm a few more rocks here. Now, at the top right of the screen, right under the map, you will see the timer for the zone. It's purple, and it says a minute 50 seconds. That's going to be very important for you to pay attention to, because the next part of our adventure is going to be really tough. Probably the toughest part of this but we need to invade Mega City and take what's ours. Now, Mega City is really, really awesome. I love it. It's a total vibe. Oh, what the heck? There's a guy on the bike here. I'm coming at you. I think I can do something crazy here. I missed. That would have been so cool. It's okay. We got another shot. I'm going to chase you down. You understand? I'm crazy. Oh, he doesn't know I'm in the car. And out he goes. Okay, so the reason we wanted to get to Mega City is because when that timer hits zero, that is actually when the boss spawns here. Now, here's the problem. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, want this boss. He drops some godlike loot. Whee! And he's about to spawn. There we go. Now, it doesn't really matter who takes down the boss, but somebody's got to do it. Might as well be me. I like doing this thing where I make a box and then I just uh, eliminate the guards. I take out the guards first before the boss because, I don't know, I actually find them harder. Plus, he's kind of, uh, they're all kind of a little dumb. There we go. Now, when you get the key card, you will be marked on the map, so just be careful about that. You would think that, uh, oh, TG, you want high cards, Havoc, Suppressed Rifle, right? Nope. Don't actually want it. It's not going to do us any good. I'm going to go ahead and move over here, though. And we're just going to make a little bit of a safe space here and open up the vault. Oh, boy. That car's gonna explode. Now, the reason we want the vault is for a couple of different reasons, actually. This guy's gonna blow up the thing. Mostly, it's because we want the Havoc Pump Shotgun, the mythic one. And then also, it's because we want Slurp Juice. Both of these are incredibly good. Especially the Slurp Juice now. It's just way awesome. That really hurt. Slurp Juice will heal me a lot, though. See how I just won that fight because of the slurp juice? It's really that good. Okay, this has been kind of crazy, but I'm still alive and I have access to all this loot. Oh boy. Bro, they just keep on coming They're like ants. Where you going, bud? You thought I was gonna let you go? <laughs> okay, I need to get some heals though. As much fun as it's been stopping everybody from getting the vault, we gotta get serious. Okay, let's open this up. 
and we are actually stacked. Now, I personally prefer this loadout. I'll show you the optimal loadout and the best weapon in just a second. That is right. The best weapon is not yet in my inventory. Let's just take out all this gold. Pick some augments. What am I gonna get? Let's go with sniper surplus, dignified finish, and light fingers. And on top of that, one of the best augments this season, aerialist. With the blade, you're gonna want aerialist. With it, you guys will be able to do this. So you can slash, slash, and then just glide. It's fantastic for mobility. Right now, I think my top four perks would be number one, Aerialist. It's so great and synergizes amazingly well with the Kinetic Blade. Number two would be Medium Weapon Amp. This works great for the Red Eye and the Pulse Rifle. It gives them quite a bit more magazine size. Number three, we got Sniper Surplus. That's gonna give your Heavy Sniper two shots instead of one. And then the last one's really situational. I like Dignified Finish, because if I take somebody out and I use all my charges, then I can use another one to get out. But I think Slap Surplus is great, Key Master, Shotgun Recycle, and Light Fingers. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of those. So right now, my inventory is looking incredible, but we're not just there yet. Who's shooting at me? I got two shots in this heavy sniper. Don't waste my time, bud. See a guy gliding over there. Now we're kind of just battling it out. Look at this guy over here. We're more than anything just waiting for time to pass. that's what we want in Spawn Island. Much as I want to fight this guy, I should probably get moving. So I'm going to do just that. That is the main goal, and it should be your main goal too. Spawn Island is the home to the most overpowered weapon possibly ever in Fortnite. Now, a little tip about Spawn Island, you can use your katana to get all the way up there. You need three charges though. Alternatively, there is rifts that spawn around, and there's the zip lines here too. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these rifts, get a nice little overview before I get up there. And now we're gonna check it out. Ooh, Loot Island, always been my favorite, let me tell you that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a little base here, and we're just gonna wait. As much as you can, you're gonna want to ward people off. Little guy's making a sky base there. Oh boy. No, you sniped at me, bro. I can't. I can't have that. And right when we capture this point, that is when the most overpowered weapon will spawn. There it is, the overclocked pulse rifle. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. I can see a guy healing right there. Icy and spicy. Oh, I have no more mats. Awkward. Give me that crown though. Okay, usually there will also be some slurp juices that spawn, but I wasn't so lucky this time around. Ooh, slurp juice. Now, if you feel a little bit less confident in your abilities with three weapons, you can go ahead and drop the heavy sniper and just rock the Havoc Pump shotgun and the overclocked pulse rifle. This pulse rifle is insane. Now, usually people will right click and shoot it like this, and it does a ton of damage, super accurate. Where it shines is that it's better than any SMG, and it's incredible at close range. All you gotta do is Hold it down. The fire rate is incredible, and they are for sure gonna nerf this thing in no time, cause it is so darn good. And when I say the hip fire's nasty, I mean it. Look at this clip. No other weapon could do this amount of damage at a medium range in such short time. It's seriously overpowered. They will nerf. It. So right now you see I have the absolute best loadout. Now if you lose with this loadout, it's just a skill issue at that point. Because the shotgun can one shot. The AR is incredible at long range and short range. The sniper can one shot people. And slurp juice is the most overpowered heal we've ever had in the game. So there is no excuses here. You know what? I actually guarantee that I'll win this game. That's how confident I am. Oh, there's a guy right over there. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna hit fire him, look. The thing that's crazy about this too is that it's so good at shooting through walls that nobody stands a chance. If they're in your field of view, it's wraps for them. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more shield. I could pop the slurp juice, but I don't wanna do that. It's too valuable. You wanna use it right when you get hit pretty hard and then you just evade for a little while. Now this loadout is equally as good in zero build. The only thing I would change and you really don't need to would be maybe a red eye instead of the heavy sniper or even you could do a red eye instead of the pulse rifle. But I still think the pulse rifle is incredible in zero build too. Okay, we just gotta keep moving here. I think there is somebody up here. Oh, there is. Let's do this. Okay, 1v1v1. One one one. You're trying to figure out where the... Oh, there's one of the guys. He's gonna try to shoot me out. <laughs> That's why I love the heavy sniper. It's so good. I see the last guy. I'm gonna take this. Up one of these. And we're gonna go up. Oh, blasted. He's on the ropes. I don't know where exactly he went. Thinking in this building. Oh, definitely in this building. 
Let him fly now. Trust me when I say he does not want the smoke. I'm just gonna get a bounty on them just in case. And the bounty's not helping much, but where? Oh, where is the last guy? Oh, what the heck? The dragon was blowing fire. 1v1, I built like this incredible structure on top of this building here. This guy's down here somewhere doing some weird stuff. I'm gonna just uh, go down to him. It's gonna make him panic a little bit. Big hit on him. Going all the way up. GG. Big old W's. And that is how you get the best loadout and the best weapon in Fortnite.